All right, what the hell is this? Arcade cabinet. I guess this is the experimental mode that they leaked on the test server, but uh, different modifiers with the same map. So starting tomorrow, you could get like plus and minus 75% to the RNG, <laughs> which is which is not even fun anymore. All right, let's take a look at how bad it is or how good it is, depending on your preference. We've all probably thought about the what ifs. For example, what if every tank were even Yeah, E4 faster. so fast. <laughs> or what if they were actually slower? Yeah, take that EBR. Piece of crap. <laughs> what if the damage dispersion was plus minus 75%, not no. plus minus 25%? Ugh. And most importantly, what if you could try all of this out for yourself? A new feature is coming to World of Tanks called Arcade Cabinet. This unique platform will be the hub of peculiar experiments, which we'll launch as game events for a limited time. Sure, it might not sound as epic as a Mirni Vapentrega hunter on the ranked global map. Is that a rat? And it's not. That's Arcade Mickey Cabinet in the back. It's for regular battles that are pretty irregular after all. Here, you'll find random battles that you'd never see in the regular random battle mode. Get ready for three upcoming launches, once every two weeks for three days only. Each launch will be just like the regular game you know and love, but with new rules. And coming up first, we have Railgun. The current gun accuracy, dispersion, and other parameters that affect fire precision have been improved. Moreover, proximity spotting will work at 445 meters. Oh, great. <laughs> Sniper weekend is officially open. It's not sniping. It's, <laughs> it's not even sniping. You'll get spotted. You cannot kill. During care. our second crazy weekend, you'll discover the true meaning of RNG. No. Will you destroy an enemy? Will you go back to the garage in a huff or with your head held high? This will depend, and not only on you. Oh, Jesus. In the third weekend, we'll be focusing on the heavy heaviness of heavy metal. The game will be slow and steady. No. And will prevail over reaction. Gross. <laughs> the battles in Arcade Cabinet will have one thing in common. They'll be same tier 15 v 15 battles in tier 8 or 10 vehicles. There'll be a separate queue for Arcade Cabinet. But if there aren't enough players, the matchmaker will be able to assemble teams with fewer vehicles, but always of the same tier. The economy in Arcade Cabinet is similar to that in Random Battles. You won't earn bonds or battle pass points, but credits and experience will remain. There will also be missions for Tier 10 vehicles. If you play... Alright, so basically... Uh... 5 times 10, which is 50, plus 1 and a bonus, that's 300 for the weekend. So, total of 3 weekends, that's... 900? Oh, that's... That's only once per day. So this is 50, 50, 50. So 150 plus only once. Because you can only do it 10 times. So only complete this once. Only 400 or so? I don't know. That's uh kind of skimpy when you think about it. Only 1,200 or so. I don't know, but you cannot get battle pass points because obviously if you do, then nobody plays random or so. Unless you're playing like tier 9s or anything else besides 10 or 8. Alright, fine, whatever. <laughs> Actively, these will make nice additions to your stock of credits. Arcade Cabinet won't feature statistics, and the reason for this remains the same. This platform is for entertainment, plain and simple. There won't be anything at risk, meaning that you can truly relax, enjoy your weekend, and try something completely new. That's this not relaxing. <laughs> without high expectations or obligations, this is Arcade. That's not relaxing. People will probably gold spam. <laughs> And crap in this mode. People will go spam. Oh no. <laughs> That's not relaxing. So only tier 8 and tier 10. 
Um, only three days. The same old maps, so unfortunate. It will be a lot more fun if you could put new maps into it, or just all the elements, not just single element. But let's take a look at the different setups. So launch number one is Railgun for tomorrow, starting tomorrow. Uh, accuracy gets boosted a lot, especially while moving. So basically everybody is super accurate while shooting on the move. Engine power increased. Aim, aim time decreased. Unless you're standing still and trying to snipe. Uh, I don't think you're supposed to stand still because yeah you'll be spotted right away <laughs> so unless you're like the edge of the map in a corner and your teammates are a lot a lot of your teammates are in front of you to prevent you from being spotted but yeah so this is basically running around like a headless chicken trying to snipe while moving practically I mean the batcha is pretty good as a first choice but you have to keep moving, otherwise you get hit, and you get dead. So, let's take a look at a few tier 10s and see which ones are pretty good in this running around pretty crazily mode. Um, the pattern? It's already pretty good shooting while moving. Now it's even more accurate, so kind of defeats the purpose, but you don't get a buff to DPM. Uh, you don't get a change to horse or... Most of the top speed other than horsepower, so you're still moving at the 50 kilometers per hour top speed, which is pretty crap. Um, you want fast vehicles to dodge the shells, so Leopard Ones are pretty decent because it's already fast, and buff that with more engine power means faster to rev up. Um, accuracy while moving is a big deal for vehicles with auto loaders. So usually they don't have that much accuracy while shooting on movement. But if you put that into something like the Bat Chat or T5051. Yeah, I mean, I can see this thing being pretty good. But like I said, armor does not get changed. So people will spam gold chill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe the CS63 uh, will be of a use compared to the Leopard 1. It's whatever. Element surprise or RNG basically. <laughs> Plus and minus 75% with the RNG. Um this is just just play normally and see how unlucky you get or how lucky you get. So large alphas like the 183 that would be more surprising. It's uh it's normal. So this is not as interesting as this one with dramatic change to the gameplay. And number three is everybody gets slowed. <laughs> everybody gets slow. A lot of people get less DPM. So this is practically snail pace. It it will not be that much fun. <laughs> Every DPM gets cut. Uh, speed gets cut. Everybody super slow and take your shots and stuff. Oh great. Same tier of 8 and 10. Platoons are allowed. Do not counter stats. Bonds cannot be earned with tier 10s. You can only earn them from missions. Oh, different maps too. You cannot use all the maps. Oh, great. Oh, there you go, folks. Initial reactions to whatever the hell that mode is. So, arcade cabinet. Oh, it, it starts here too. Alright, fine. The same rules and stuff. But... Eh, I mean... It's like the same old meta with tier 10s or tier 8s. I think tier 8s with credit makers are going to be a little bit more fun than all tier 10s. Especially all tier 10s spamming gold shell. Yeah, that's not going to be fun. <laughs> so, which tier 8s are going to be fun? Um... For the first one, I think something like high DPM, high mobility, like the German Bulldog, that might be interesting. But the show, the show limit, the ammo loadout is all the same, so you cannot spam that much shell. Huh. I mean, yeah, German Bulldogs, the 
HWK moves pretty quick, especially with a buffed engine. So these might be worth trying out, but be wary of cliffs <laughs> or ramps and get yourself stuck. Um, all light tanks will be somewhat fine if it's all tier 8s. Um, I mean, you will see people with armor, so they'll be faster too, but they're not going to be as fast. Definitely don't play artillery. You're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot. You're screwing yourself over. Don't play artillery. Uh, don't play vehicles that are somewhat slow, like the T-28. You'll get circle strafed like crazy. So you're not shooting on the move anyways, so might as well play something else, like the ship TVP-100. That might be fun. So this thing might be pretty good. Especially, well, the top speed is all right, but it's not as much as the light tanks. So yeah, is there a fast? heavy tank at tier 8 that's a big question you have the armor now now you have the speed so something like i don't know <laughs> the the 252u i don't think the 252u is that fast yeah it's not that fast of a heavy it has armor it moves around pretty strongly of armor to maybe the Skoda t56 huh well, whatever. So, think of a meta, but it doesn't matter that much, so whatever. But there you go, folks. I have been pretty busy, mostly because I bought a new graphics card. It already arrived, but I need a new power source, so... Tried to tinker with all the stuff. So currently, I have a 3060 with my computer. I bought a 3080, and uh, I'll slam and jam everything. Hopefully by t uh, tomorrow morning and try to record something, but hey, it's a lot more than World of Tanks needed. You don't need a 3060 for World of Tanks, let alone 3080, but yeah, I want to play something else. So for this, yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> I mean, if we get more credits out of it, that might be a plus or more XP out of it. That also might be a plus, but... The XP made out of this is the same as the credits, so the only difference is the the new RNG or slight tweaks to the stuff. But once you figure out that you make the same same amount of credits or XP, then it feels pretty pretty boring after very quickly three or four matches or so. That's what I'm trying to guess or estimating. Um, I'm predicting that you'll feel burnt out or you'll feel that this whole mode gets old by the end of like the third or fourth game or something. Unless you're playing fast vehicles. But then again, unless you're finishing with the bond missions, eh, yeah, everything is whatever. You don't get battle pass points, you don't get progression, and you should have at least two chapters finish by the end of this month so yeah if we're having another secret marathon like with the ship tvp uh tvp 100 then you should have at least two chapters finished by now and working on the third chapter before we're getting the secret marathon in the middle of august or something but all right there we go folks so hopefully the 3080 will work. I have to tinker around and mess around with the settings. Take apart my PCU, PCU, <laughs> my PC and GPU, and slam everything back together. So, well, there's my reaction. So, it gets old if you're not having fun. And the lack of credit boost or anything substantial with the reward kind of gets old. So, you might as well grind for your battle pass points than getting circle strafed <laughs> like crazy with EBRs. I wonder if the EBRs will be broken with the railguns because they boost the engine power as well. So will the EBR 75 be super nuts? Or the Lynx for that matter. So this thing will have even more horsepower and even more accuracy while shooting on movement but it doesn't have the DPM and it's very easy to jump over a ramp and kill yourself. <laughs> so we'll see what happens, but eh, it'll be fun for now. So thank you guys for watching. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So we'll see what happens tomorrow, but I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul